Six here with another Metal Game Status 66 here with another one of my series. Five metal bands you should check out. Episode 6. Five metal bands you should check out. Episode 6. And I just want to let all my subscribers know when you watch, if you watch this video, that I, I'm back to regular schedule with my with, with my videos. So I'm going to be back to regular schedule. We're finished at, at that building. So I don't have to worry about that no more. So. I don't have to stay late or nothing, so I'm finished with that. So I'm going to be back to my regular schedule from now on until something else happens, whatever. I hope nothing else ever happens like that again. Because that was the first time that's ever happened, that the Vermilion, that the river came up that high and flooded our, that building. That's the first time, and that building's been there for almost 40 years, so yeah, we got some bad... It was historic rain. Just wanted to let y'all know, I'm back to a regular schedule, so here's my five... Five metal bands you should check out episode six. Five metal bands you should check out episode six. I'm gonna start off with Russian Circle. Oh, and just to let y'all know, I'm gonna have all the links to the if they have a video, just one video, and if they're on Bandcamp or Spotify, and I'm gonna have the link to um, Cover Killer Nation because he reviewed it, and I want y'all to check him out so you can get a better sense. But I'm gonna tell you, try to tell you a lot, so because. Uh, Cause you, cause if you watch, I want, I want y'all to support his um video. It's supposed to be five recent release, but he didn't do one. When the the last one he did, this is this is for ten. So check him out, cause you might find some great bands too. That's why I wanted y'all check him, check that out. He usually does a five recent release series, but last week he did a ten because he missed the the week before. So just wanted to let y'all know about that. I'm gonna put that in the description box. With, with one YouTube video from all the bands if they have it, who whoever does it, I won't have it. But I will have the Bandcamp and Spotify if they have it too. So, the first one is Russian Cir Russian Circle. They're from Chicago, Illinois. They're post metal and post rock. But the thing about that is, they're instrumental. They formed in 2004. I just found out about them because of Cover Girl Nation. So. That's why I was talking about check his that video out, and he has a new one that just came out today, so check that out too. Of the five recently released, just want to let you know they are an instrumental band. Their latest album is really really good. I'm gonna play a little bit of him talking about it, so just want to let you know that too. They have six studio albums. So, I'm going to let you hear him in just a minute talk about this band a little bit. So you can, so you can hear his review. And But, I listen to it. If you're into instrumental, and you're into good guitars and all that. If you liked um, that one last year from that dude, you would like this one. Because this one's really, really good. This is a really good instrumental album. You should please check it out. And please support the band. And stream them and all that good stuff. Buy their albums and all that. Please support the band. Oh, and I just want to let you know. There's a band called um, Wild um, um, damn it, Wild Bo Rose. They are a band that I reviewed on this channel. Just wanted to let you know that they commented and liked. So please watch my videos because even a band liked my videos. Like the the five metal band video where, they, where I featured them. So... I even had a band like me, so just wanted to let y'all know, and and that's about it for that. I'm going to play him talking about the Russian circle a little bit, not long, just him. I'm, I'm trying to get it on here. It's coming. Nope, that's what I think it is. I'm almost one more. There we go. Oh, nope, a little bit long. I'm coming. Oh, that's right, it's almost at the end of the. Okay. It's loading, so. And that's that's the first band I'm talking about, so just want to let y'all know that. That's the first one. These guys are an instrumental post rock project that have been wowing audiences for, you know, a little while now. They've definitely established a name for themselves. 
Russian circles and their yeah. album Guidance. Here it These is. guys are an instrumental post rock project that have been wowing audiences for, you know, a little while now. They've definitely established a name for themselves. And this seven track album is going to sort of further that legend and really expose uh, their blend to new fans that decide to check them out. That's you guys. So hopefully you guys. Yep, that's me. I checked them out. First time. Asa immediately it makes me think of Asa Akira because that, that's, that, that's the first name. And she's pretty darn hot. But no, the music itself is definitely a softer register that uh, is able to then elevate itself up into a very metallic principle, almost like a post metal ideal. Uh, with a with a very very next cut should I say Borel. I just wanted you to hear a little bit. That's Russian Circle. They're they're instrumental and they're really really good. You should check them out. Like he said, I checked them out and I like them. I like instrumental albums, so I yeah I like those type of albums. And this one's really good. No album number two, Syogen S Y N E R G I. They're a new band brand new band they're from New Jersey they are brand new they have a six track EP I know they have an EP they just came out with an EP that's their first that's their first ever release and man to, they're to me they're alright but I like them a little bit but mmm I didn't care for their EP too too much but it was alright it was pretty good it wasn't the best thing but it if you want to listen to something quick, it's only 29 minutes, I think, then check them out. They're pretty good. They're, I'm not the biggest fan yet of them. I have to listen to it again. I only listen to it once. I might get hooked on the, a little bit more in the second one. But I just wanted, to let, just wanted to let you know about this band. They're pretty good. But I'm still kind of iffy on if I really, really like them. Because it was a short EP, but still. It was an okay EP, but still check them out. They're brand new. Cover Killer Nation reviewed them. I want you to hear him. Just a little bit. Talk about them. Because they're brand new. And he's the... This is his first time reviewing them because this is the first release they ever came out with. So... So check them out. Trying to get it to load. And just wait for the power button. <laughs> check this one out. Number four on our journey yep. is Synergy with Synergy. the Distant Origins EP. Oh yeah, the Distant this Origins. This is a premiere because this is the first time I've ever talked about these guys. Uh, they are pretty brand new. I think this is their first ever release, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a six-track EP, and they combine what uh, it feels like metalcore, a little bit of post-hardcore. It does have some progressive influence here and there, especially on a couple of the longer cuts that are featured on this EP. And their sense of chaos is one that is very tightly yeah. balled up and well put to good use. And I think they're going to attract a lot of attention because they have a very, you know, reflective sound of the genre. And they already sound like seasoned professionals as opposed to feeling like they are sort of brand new and just chaotically putting things together. It has a very professional gloss to it, which I do kind of dig. And I yeah. Yeah, they do have that. They really do, but I have to listen to it again. I only listened to it once, so I'm a, I'm gonna check them out again. But please check them out and support them. I'm gonna have them. They're on Spotify, so I'm gonna have them in the, in the description box. And I wanted you to hear Cover Care Nation because they don't really have anything on um online about too much about the album and all that. I'm talking about Wikipedia. Don't have anything on them I'm telling you. What career, or what what genre they play in, and all. So I had to look on Facebook for that. A little bit on Facebook. So just wanted to let y'all know that if you're trying to ch check out and want to find out more about them, uh, some websites have them too, have them, but not. But Cover Care Nation does a good review on them. So number three is the Pineapple Thief. They f they formed in 1999. They're from England. The progressive rock, indie rock. An alternative rock. Now, their new album is Your Wildness. That came out. That came out this year. So, yeah. They're alright. They're a pretty good band. I like them, from what I heard. They're really, really cool. 
they're really really cool i i kind of i really dig them i like the the new newest album it was pretty cool couple of nation reviewed them check him out on um on bank on um check him out on his video review on his 10 recent review because because it was i like that's how i found out about him this is my first time listening to him i listened to the album once but it was really good you should check them out if you if you enter that type of music because they're pretty okay i'm gonna um let you listen a little bit to him too Just to hear what he thinks about them. I like to promote other people too, so. Album of the week, and that's Your Wilderness by the Pineapple Thief. This is an eight-track affair from a band that almost instantly from the opening notes of In Exile, the first cut off of this album, you know it's going to be a very moody affair. If you've ever wondered what it would sound like if Stephen Wilson and Radiohead perhaps had some sort of twisted brainchild, Your Wilderness by the Pineapple Thief might be the most accurate representation of that collaboration, although it will be one that has quite the same weirdness that Radiohead sometimes does offer to the table. However, that soft sort of emotional hum that you constantly get from those two projects is something that you've constantly gotten from the Pineapple Thief over their career, which has been one that has sort of under the radar been very, very well received and semi well documented. They are a very good progressive rock project. Yes, they are. I really like their newest album, The w Your Worldliness. It was pretty good. I'm going to listen to it again today. I know I am. I'm going to check that out again because I liked it a lot. That was number four, I think. No, number. That was number three. Number four is Unguided. Now, this is a newer band, so please support them. Please buy their albums. Please check them out. Please support them. Because they've on, they only been around since 2010. And this is their second album. I think it's their second album. I'm looking. Let's see. Full length. Nope, this is their third album. They came out with one in 2011. So this is their third album, Lust and L-O-A-T-A, Loating. Yes, they are, they are a m melodic, groove metal, they are pretty damn good. I mean, they are good, I like them, I just listened to them last week, so again, for the, probably the 10th or 12th time, I've been listening to them a lot since it came out, they're on Napalm Records, please support them. Because they are really, really, really good. I really enjoyed this album. It was really good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how many tracks it is. This is 12 tracks. It's on Spotify. I'm going to check and see if it's on Bandcamp. Again, just to make sure. It was released in February. So, and it's 50, 54 minutes in length. Please, please support, support them. And please, give them a, please. Because they're really, really good. Oh yeah, if you're into um, melodic metal, if you're, from, if you're into melodic groove metal, you will really dig this album. That's number four. Number five is Architects. Just, just want to let y'all know that the drummer, I mean the um, guitarist, the twin of one of the brothers, they have two brothers in the band that are guitarists, and one of them just died of cancer. He was only 28. Just want to let y'all know that. That's I'm hoping this band keeps going, but they're a really, really good band. I really like them. I've, I've been, I've listened to a few of their albums, and they're really, really good. I've been a big fan of this band for a few years now, and it's a shame that that had to happen. It's really a shame that it, that the brother had to die, the twin. It's really, really sad. But please check them out. I'm gonna tell you the name of the new album. It's all our gods have abandoned us, and it's charted on. It's charted big time. UK number 15, Australia number two. In the US, it's 109, but in the other countries, it's charted really, really good. Because they are a really, really good band. Please check this band out and support them, and support them big time because of what happened. It's a shame that he had to die at 28 with cancer. It's really, really sad. This album is 46 minutes in length. I just cover you can you can find out a review from Cover Care Nation. He reviewed them, so if you want to check out a review, another if you want to check out his review, please do so, because and he has a video talking about 
the guitarist on his channel so please check that out too because man y'all gonna miss out on some you need to check this out they are a good band you need to support them since not just because that happened but they're a good band please please support them i highly recommend it and please support the other bands buy their shirts buy their lps buy anything they have stream them a lot because these are all good bands I, really good band Sygen is a is a good band I'm still trying to get into them. I'm going to listen to the album again, but from when I listened to the, fir the first time I listened to it, it was alright, but I'm going to listen to it again. Usually it takes me two times to really get into a band like this, so just want to let y'all know that. And that's about it. Rate, comment, like, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Please support me. Please, please support me and subscribe to my channel to get all my videos. I'm going to have a lot more coming this week. I might do some more today, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking about doing them, really, really, because I haven't done them in a while. It's been over a week, so please support these bands, and give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, like, comment, subscribe, and that's about it. And that's about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'm...